All right, what's up? I'm David. Welcome back to. I'm gonna tell you about John Cena. Oh my God! We're, Unpause this we're so play, I can talk play, about John we're play, Cena. We're playing WWF No Mercy again, and I'm really ha- we're really having fun with this. If you thought Chandler had his rant mode, wait till you hear me. I can't wait. So there was a magic time in the 2000s oh, okay. with John Cena. And in a sport that used to have a bunch of rock music and cool craziness, instead we got some douche who is all into gangster rap. Like, he is the biggest wigger. And yes, that is a word that I'm going to say because wigger fuck isn't. white people. <laughs> white people, like, comment, subscribe. <laughs> anyway, John Cena was the biggest wigger in the world, and he... He had this gimmick at the time where he rhymed everything, and at first that was kind of funny, but then he was just kind of like, oh. Being a good guy about it. Yeah, he was being, oh, I know, I'm, I'm too cool for that. I'm not doing it because it's fun, I'm doing it because I'm cool. Because rap's big with the kids. Yeah, so then, so then every month, Cena would be in a pay per view. Eventually he got a uh, United States champion. Then he got up to the major title. The WWE, uh, cha- the WWE Championship. At the the WWE Championship or the World Heavyweight Championship. Ever, uh, he Mostly originally... The WWE. Yeah, he dry hunt the WWE Championship and then he would on occasion win the World Heavyweight. In and fact, I have to say this and I can't believe this, the last World Heavyweight Champion, champion in WWE history was John Cena. Yep, because then they unified the belts. Recently. Yes. Yep. In fact, they've gotten rid of the, both belts and they made a new belt to reflect the WWE's and, new logo. And to give you an example of how much the industry just loves to fillet Mr. Cena, he now has the exact number of WrestleMania wins that Hulk Hogan has. Rick and Rick. I'm, the reason I'm saying uh, that is because every, everyone... Yeah, Ric Flair has that too, doesn't he? Ric Flair has 16, John Cena... They At the, the time same. that we're recording this, John Cena has 15. He may have 16 oh, tonight. Yeah. Possibility. Well, then he has as much as Hulk Hogan, the second largest amount. The second largest amount. Third is Ric largest. Flair. Sorry. Um, the second largest. The, the second actual, largest is Ric Flair. The first is Undertaker. So he has the wait, third. How many? How many titles? No. We're talking about WrestleMania wins. Oh, WrestleMania wins. Yeah, Ric Flair doesn't have as much. Okay. So yeah, right John right. Cena and. Um, Really John Cena and Hulk Hogan have the same number of WrestleMania wins. WrestleMania is the biggest pay-per-view of the wrestling thing. Of professional wrestling, yeah. John Cena's been in the industry for about, what, he's 12 been years since, or so? Um, well, since about tenu- 2002. Is ten- yeah. So he's been, he's been about 12 years. Yeah, yeah, he's been there about 12 years. Hulk Hogan has been there for how much? Since 1977? Exactly. I think. I'm not sure, but... Comment and see if you guys want to correct me, you pro wrestling he's fans. A, he's too. been there since like the eighties. Yeah, he's most his most famous run is in the eighties. So compare a guy who's mostly been a douche, who has been around since the early two thousands, and then a guy who has been for around. as long as the eighties has a lo- has more titles than him. They've had as many WrestleMania victories. They have. I don't know if they've had comparable number of championship wins. They might have, but the fact that they're pushing such a douche, who's basically, at this point, the new John Cena. We went from a real American with uh, the good, theme, with good theme music to, to The, the rock, rock, with who's with just a cool guy. To Stone Cold and Stone Cold Steve Austin. I think they were was a fake. badass. They, did you just try to plant your ass in someone's face? I did. Oh, okay. this is gonna be funny. Pick him up! Pick him up! Oh uh, my God! The slam! The second, him. the second slam heard around the rank world. Uh, you want you want to do is tap the stick. You can do a taunt, which will yeah. set up your finisher, and then you do the strong grab oh, and, then not, and then tap your stick. Oh, all right. I mean this. Yeah. I know how to taunt. I just didn't know that. Yeah, was you involved need, you, in the... you can do a special taunt, and all then right. you then you do a strong grapple. Yep. And then tap tap the stick. Yep. Bitch slap! Oh <laughs> shit. And then she just talks down to you like you're a yeah. bitch. Now pin like, him. Like what she does now. I just have to... Bree, you have to consider... He's knocked out. You knocked him out with a bitch slap. Bree, you have to consider... L. L. Uh, L fucking, yeah, sorry. Bree, you have to consider that this month at SummerSlam... I'm gonna make you my bitch. bitch. Yeah, Stephanie McMahon is in a storyline recently where uh, she, she did that. people bitch. She did a... That was a great uh, bit lo- of acting there. Yeah, she that, looked. She looked like she was like crying and really like, oh, I don't want to fight this lady. I'm, you know, scared and chicken I'm, shit and all that. Cause I haven't wrestled in a while. 
But then she, as soon as she gets close to the lady she's talking about, she slaps her right across the fucking face. Calls and then her, her bitch. And her voice goes from the whole uh, sad crying thing to just like the angriest, vicious thing you've ever heard, where she says, I'm going to make you my bitch. And it's like, holy shit. And that's why wrestling's good. Yeah. Because it's acting and action. Seamless. It's like, you know the little compa- literal comparison people make to soap, it is to soap operas? Yeah. It's like that only, it's not exactly that. Think of it as kind of like a form of fiction that is so oddly formatted. It's like that uh, it, once you get, you only, the only people that will absolutely love it to death, once they love it, they'll love it forever. A nice it, German suplex by my guy. Oh, so what am I, Cena now? 16 suplexes? The way I see it, uh, if you watch a movie that's got a lot of action, it doesn't leave you as much time to like do character building stuff. Yeah, pro if wrestling. Watch, if you watch a movie that does a lot of character building stuff, then they're not going to do as much action. But pro wrestling can do both of those because they have a lot of time to do that. Because it's an Consider, episodic TV show. Considering Monday Night Raw, the number one pro wrestling show at now, it's is three, hours, three hours. Three hour tour. Jesus, a three tap hour dancing. Tour. Jesus, tap dancing Christ. Does a sh- does a pro wrestling show really need three hours? I mean, I like Raw, and what they do with those three hours is good. But do you really need three hours? I grew up in a day where pro wrestling was a two was an back hour and a half. Back in my day. Back in my day. We didn't fa- have none of this fancy schmancy Titan Tron crap. What we is- just had the music. We didn't need weapons. That's what our fists is for. We, <laughs> we just did- fisticuffed and the shit out of people. We just did fisticuffs. Yeah, totally. Fisticuffs. 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 That would be the greatest type of battle ever. Oh, what's your special? It's an STO, which is a forward sweep. You'll see what the STO is, ladies and gentlemen, most likely. Uh, And and I probably just knocked you out. Flat on my ass. Oh, shit, you got back up. I'm in danger. You have special. I'm special. Uh, What? (laughs) I just did my special at? It's it's over. Yeah, where's your special at? Stephanie McMahon is gonna kick a big black man's ass. This is obviously scripted. <laughs> it has to. Be. There's no. Way. I can't believe that you just kicked <laughs> out of my foot. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, oh thank God. Shit. I have done not nearly enough damage. Slap. I've done enough damage. Hold on. I want to go away for a second. I want to show you something. I don't want to hit you, so go away. Okay. Look at my hand. It looked. Oh, I, yeah, I have to, you have to be in range to hit me. Oh, well, look at the hand while I do that. Doesn't it look like the hand is growing? It looks like it's expanding to form an actual hand. It's weird. Unlike the awkward yeah. nubs they call hands in this game. Yeah. It, this actually forms hands when you're actually doing a move. Oh my god, uh, you countered my holy counter! Shit. This Step match up. is getting way too. Why is this ending getting good? I could finish you anytime I want, but you're being difficult. Well, I want to prolong it because obviously, uh, no, well, you know, you you know how time works. I want to prolong this death sentence. You might want to as well. I am. Know. I'm beating the holy hell out of you and having fun with it. What you. happens when I end up winning? <laughs> this is the upset victory. This is bigger than Chris Jericho becoming the first undisputed champion. Okay, fuck you. That was the first wrestler I ever saw. Was Chris Jericho? Chris Jericho is awesome. I love Chris Jericho. He is amazing. He's pr- he is one of my all-time favorite wrestlers. And he is the lead singer of metal band Fozzy, which is surprisingly a good band. I was surprised. I saw them at X Fest. Were they at X Fest? Yeah, not this and year. A, few, a couple of year, a couple years ago. That is the mess. They up. weren't they weren't the headline. They were just I, a small. It doesn't matter. Band. That's still messed up. I missed that. Yeah, it was fun. I loved. It. I'm now sad. You me and my girl, me and my girl, me and my girlfriend really enjoyed X, that year of X Fest. You made me sad. Yeah. It was oh fun. shit! Reverse. You, made, you missed you missed Fozzie at X Fest. That's what I did. Good. You know what's in the background? I thought it would be like Mecca or something. Apparently, Rikishi and X-Pac are still fighting. Yeah, once they're eliminated, you still fight in the back. Make some noise! And, and uh, Rikishi's beating the holy hell out of X-Pac. He just did his finishing move with Rikishi Driver. Make some noise! Oh god, rape, rape, rape! Oh god, she she's cupping a feel! Rape. She's cupping- she's dry humping me! Rape. Help me! Ah! Zulu, you have to consider this summer. It's SummerSlam. I'm gonna make you my bitch. Or I'm gonna make you my slave. 
Because the McMahons are racist. <laughs> Just not, look at not Vince. Conspicuous. No. Two. No. No. Oh, oh my gosh. Shit. Okay, we have. Okay, Mercy ne rule. Next time. Scouts, I guess we have to prolong the beating. You know what? I can't believe this. Is this is another episode. This is ending. This, this is, is ending. This is Bret Hart versus Shawn Michaels. Yes, we're going, we're going overtime on this bitch. Uh, Screw you, editing man. We are finishing this. Iron Man match. We are beating the fuck out of each other until this ends. Because this is a grudge match of the century. <laughs> Zulu versus Stephanie doctor. McMahon. This, this is, is a legacy built on beating the holy hell. Oh, no! <laughs> No! Why do you keep countering my shit? Shit. Oh my god, fuck you. No! <laughs> what the fuck? No! <laughs> okay, good. Oh shit. This is really sudden death now. Editor, Jeffrey, I hope this is entertaining for you. Yeah. Oh, that is not cool! Push you cup of feel, now you need me in the nuts. It's like Stephanie it's like bi it's like bipolar nut love right there. You can make a whole uh You can make a whole fucking You can, you video can make a whole gender studies paper on, on, on the McMahon. sexual nature of, of Stephanie, Stephanie McMahon. McMahon's attack. She like I am I'm, I'm waiting to you. You can make a whole uh, thousand word essay based on her use of bitch all the time alone. Did you try to throw that at me? Yes, and it didn't work because you're on the top row. <laughs> that was, which means the hit detection. That was your not hail mary pass, and it yeah. failed. Oh shit! <laughs> well, now you're targeting them. Right C targets other people. Right C. Yeah. Well, it's not targeting that other people. Because I'm over here. Well, get over here then. No, you get over here. Get over here. This is the final battle. No! Oh! Holy shit. I just threw the steel steps at your head. This is awesome. Um, yeah. This no! is No! Awesome. Stop kicking out! Jesus tap dancing Christ! It's like you're probably no! John Cena at this past pay-per-view. Stop kicking my stop hitting me in the nuts! What is your what is Stephanie's fascination with my nuts? Well, um, you're black. And oh, good point. <laughs> she clearly <laughs> likes dark chocolate. Look at who she married. Triple H isn't black. He's white. And apparently he's rich. How come they abandoned the Hunter Hearst Helmsley? Has because that, 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 that character sucks. Has all of wrestling just forgotten that technically Triple H is very rich and very uh, influential in the world? And that's an exploder suplex. Because the, the Helmsleys are supposed to be important. It's supposed to be a blue blood. Apparently that means he has authority in this world. Well, he got rid of it when he joined DX. He quit the whole blue blood thing. Oh, so they basically disowned him. Yeah, and he had to regain it by fucking this daughter of the boss. So does that mean he's still not a Helmsley or what? He, he's a Helmsley. He's a, Hel he's a McMahon Helmsley. Yeah, there we go. Which is, this game took place in the McMahon, oh, okay. Yeah, you the can do, McMahon you can, do, you can do a whole a uh, couple study on Triple H and Stephanie McMahon because originally when they were together they weren't a couple until they actually broke up in show yeah in the show it's weird and then they got married right after they broke up in the show and I just kicked your head off he kicked his head off good god almighty this is a slobber knocker yeah you need to die now like seriously okay, he broke him in half alright I'm finishing this no, I'm, you're I'm not. Finishing. No! You're not allowed <laughs> to counter! <laughs> no, you're not. You can't oh see me. Oh my god! Yeah, I see you fine, bitch. He, she did the you can't see me. But John Cena isn't even in this game. It's, uh... It's, this, is, this came out in, like, 1999 <laughs> to 2000. Oh, shit. Oh my god. Oh, Die! Just surrender. No! Confess. That's not funny! <laughs> Confess. Uh, I, I'm surprised this is the first BCW <laughs> joke you make. <laughs> oh, counter! Well, I'm making good wrestling references in this case. What? <laughs> 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 no! Yes. Deal with it. Alright, this is it. Is this it? Yeah, this is, I can't. Jeez. I, I like kick. If you notice, this guy likes to kick things. 
Zulu. Yeah, he's, he's a Seamus. He's broken. Yeah, I told you. He's like a bl you'll think he's a black Seamus. This is a bell. <laughs> Botch. Botchamania. Botchamania. Edition. Yeah! I hit you on the steel steps. It's over. Two. No. No. Yes! Oh, damn it. Oh my god! Cubs wins! Oh my god, that was hard fought! Next time on Cubs, we are gonna make a wrestler and... We're gonna, okay, yeah, next Cubs, we're actually gonna play the story mode, and we're gonna have... We're gonna our, make a wrestler. We're, we're gonna make our creative wrestler. Together. And we will decide what storyline we're gonna do. Alright, tune in All right, next time. tune in next time.